Hey guys, uh, Pastor Nate here. Super excited once again to get to bring you word uh, via video. Um, I'm outside in my neighborhood. Kind of see my neighborhood here as I'm walking. Got some cotton in my mouth. It's flying around bad. But I just thought I would take the time today and talk to you about neighbors. Who is our neighbor? Um, I don't know about you guys, but when I think of neighbors, I think of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It is a TV show I used to watch. A lot of you probably watch Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, um, which is inspired by Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And he used to sing this song every morning when he would start, and it would go like this. It would say, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be my, would you be my neighbor? And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you a few clips of Mr. Rogers interacting with some of his neighbors. And I want you to see who are his neighbors. And then I want you to think, who are your neighbors? All right, go ahead. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Thank you very much for coming by. Can you tell my friends what it is that made you need this wheelchair? Sure. Well, when I was about seven months old, I had um, I had a tumor, and it broke the nerves to tell my hands and legs what to do. I see. And. I got a wheelchair when I was four years old. That was your first one mm -hmm. when you were four. Uh -huh. But you know, the toughest thing is to love somebody who has done something mean to you, especially when that somebody has been yourself. Have you ever done anything mean to yourself? Well, it's very important to look inside yourself and find that loving part of you. That's the part that you must take good care of and never be mean to because that's the part of you that allows you to love your neighbor and your neighbor is anyone you happen to be with at any time of your life respecting and loving your neighbor can give everybody a good feeling you see, our, vit our neighbors are people that are in our neighborhood. They're people around us. They're everybody, really. People that make us mad, people that we like, people we don't like, people that look different than us. But God wants us to love all of our neighbors, even the ones that are really mean to us, even the ones that drive us mad or yell at us or anything like that. You see, God wants us to love all of our neighbors. In fact, he's called us to love our neighbors. And I'm super excited because Miss Stephanie is going to get, bring our Bible story to you today. So I'm going to turn it over to her 
and then we're gonna watch some Veggie Tales things and you have a video link to play some games. God bless guys, miss you. I'm excited to get back to City Kids. Good morning City Kids. I'm Miss Stephanie and I sure am missing you guys. I hope you are all doing really, really well. I'm really excited I get to tell you the um, Bible story this morning. And if we were in class together, I would say to you, how many of you have a Bible? And most of you would raise your hand, right? And then I would say, who reads their Bible every day? And a lot of you would raise your hand. And we know that's important because that's how God speaks to us. And that's also how we learn about how God wants us to live, right? So it's super important. And I'm going to tell you a Bible story today. It's from the book of Luke chapter 10 and I have some helpers. It might um, be fun to watch as I tell this Bible story. Okay, one day an expert in religious law stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? And we know eternal life is living in heaven with Jesus, right? Our souls never die. Jesus replied, what does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? Oh, this is a fun part because that was in pink. And if I were with you, right, I would say, what do the pink words mean? And a lot of you know, those are the words that Jesus actually said. We love to see those pink words in here, don't we? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Right, Jesus told him. Do this and you will live. The man wanted to justify his actions, so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with an illustration. A Jewish man was traveling on a trip from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes and money. They beat him up and they left him half dead beside the road. By chance, a Jewish priest came along. But when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. A Levite walked over and looked at him lying there but he also passed on the other side. Then a despised Samaritan, so that was a different type of person as the, the, the um, priest and the Levite. Now we have a Samaritan, a despised Samaritan came along. And when he saw the man, he felt deep pity. Kneeling beside him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with medicine and he bandaged all his wounds up. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he handed the innkeeper two pieces of silver and told him to take care of the man. If his bill runs higher than that, he said, I'll pay the difference next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to a man who was attacked by bandits? Jesus asked. The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Jesus is telling us that our neighbor isn't necessarily the person that lives next door. And he's not the person that looks just like us or maybe came from where we came from or even believes in the exact same things. Our neighbor is everyone and everyone who is hurting. And God created us all, didn't he? And so everyone is our neighbor and God wants us to show mercy to everyone. Isn't that a cool story? That is something we can all work on. You may wanna ask your mom or dad or grandma or whoever you live with today, has anybody ever helped you? Or even, have you ever stopped and helped somebody? It may not have been on the side of the road like this, but all of us need help in many different ways all the time. I know I can think of lots of times when I need help and people have helped me and shown mercy. And that's just what God wants us each to do. So I hope you're having a really good Sunday and I'm gonna be praying for each of you.